on guys uh, it is Monday evening and kind of a quiet day in markets Monday Bitcoin is just kind of leaking lower I think you guys got to be patient there like I keep saying we're <clears throat> there's no rush to get back long um, we're still in this intermediate term consolidation but I wanted to talk about Forex and I've been wrestling with the best ways to kind of do some of this day trading on the, the cryptocurrency side because you know we can't really short the market right now especially for US based traders um, I want to get some futures options together but I don't know how many of you have 50 to 100 grand that you want to dedicate just to trading Bitcoin futures so there's there's some things to do on the hedging side that makes sense, but for all-out tr day trading, I'm not sure the markets are quite there yet. I've been talking to a few different brokers, and I want to maybe find some solutions, but um, <clears throat> I'll show you guys. What I used to do with my Forex traders is trying to help them get consistent, but also just understanding the power of just trying to make 1% a day. And, and I'll do a probably more an in-depth in video on this, considering BitConnect just, um, you know, um, BitConnect just finally went under and they said that they had a 1% trading bot. And I sh shot videos saying that there was no way in hell those guys had a real trading bot that does 1% because I know how hard that is to do day in and day out in markets. Um, took me five to seven years trading full-time every day, a lot of times all night long, um, with real institutional experience and a lot of losing, a lot of losing days, a lot of losing lessons, and some a couple good mentors to really get to that place. But just stroking 1% a day is really tough. It's more like 1%, half a percent, break even, break even, 2.5%. So the fact that they never showed their results, I and mean, we all knew that was just, you know, it was all a lie. But this is something where I teach my FX guys, and there's a few of you that, if you want to take this challenge, you can message me. I already have a couple of my core guys that have been with me for over a year that I'm going to work more closely with this on the coaching side. And But this is just what I call 10x1. So it's focusing on getting consistent, trying to do 1% a day. And this is the power of compounding, guys. It's starting with a $30,000 account and equity. And this is what your equity curve looks like. It starts off like, you know, 300 bucks. You know, it doesn't seem like a lot. Maybe to somebody that wants to pull out Bitcoin-type returns. Um, but the key is the consistency. Because I can always... You can always put more zeros behind this. It's just a matter of buying power. The key is, hey, can you day in, day out, pull money out of the market? Because um, I see a lot of traders have big days, but then they're losing 8 out of 10 days. And, you know, and then they have big down days. So anyway, I just, I just did this for <clears throat> a roadmap where 1% after 10 trading days here on the left, these are trading days, 33 grand. And I'm not saying we guarantee this. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying this is what I set for my traders as a goal. All right, 20 days, you're at 36,000. After three to four months, um, you start hitting some pretty good levels. So this is after 70 trading days. So, um, you know, there's basically 20 trading days in each month. All right, so by the time you basically double your count in 70 trading days, and then you come here to six months, you're, you would have tripled your account over, all right? And then, all right, then you're at the 200,000 level in the third quarter. And at the end of a full year of trading, all right, that's what's possible on 1% a day compounding. Now, of course, that's not what it's going to look like, but, you know, this is this is how I think about the power of 1%. It's 10x, 10 times your money or your equity in one year, all right? So you can play with that. I've done other scenarios, but 
the end of the day, this is I just I've been replotting this for everyone. I wanted to I wanted to put it in a different fashion, but I went through my emails here on just one of my FX accounts, and I've only gone through October. I'm just putting in this data, so I just go by my daily confirmations. All right, closed trade six sixty six oh four. That was <clears throat> the nineteenth. All right, you can see here in the 19th, 666.04. All right, so then I go through here, and then I have win-loss ratios. This is this is for the end of the month of October. I have my um, closed trade PL. All right, and so this is this is this is just October, and <clears throat> I've since up my size. That that particular month, I was coming in under one percent. Um, I don't have time to do this the rest of this evening, but um, by the end of the week, I'm going to just keep going through this. You'll see here in December and January that my size, I've, I've tried to pick it up so that I'm averaging closer to 1%. one percent. But this is why you got to keep track of stuff, guys. You can see that, you know, all right, I was putting out 285. This is on a starting with 48,000 in one account, all right? 780, 226. 1200 that was my biggest day for the month all right some of these these days are the weekends obviously there's zero and there's the other way you can calculate this is wins and losses and break even days sometimes I'll consider break even like under a hundred dollars but I just went with the raw figures either I'm in the black or I'm in the red so only three losing days the entire month I'd like you to show me a directional trader that can do that they don't they don't exist guys there's very few um, number of trading days 22 winning days 19 so this is what this is this is taking trading and treating it like a business and not a hobby if you don't have these numbers you're not serious about trading as a profession and you're not serious about being the, one of the best and getting reaching this level of consistency 86 percent win rate Okay, I, I calculate all these by hand. You put in the formulas. Once you know your number of trading days, once your winning days, your losing days, there's your percent. You can average out your winning day. So here you can see my average winning day is 277 bucks for that month. My average losing day com came out to 242. <coughs> one to one ratio, not bad, but when you have an 86% win rate, you take that all day long. Total percent gain for the month was 8.96. So my average percent daily was only 0.4. All right. So now when I go back and look at this, I can say, all right, I want to get back closer to my totals of doing 1% a day. So I got to, maybe that tells me I need to pick my size up a little bit. Um, you can look at things how, if you're maxing out on your buying power intraday, or if you've got plenty of room where you're not bumping up against that in your trading, then you've got you've got more room more buying power you can step on the pedal a little bit more max loss was 540 my max maximum win was 1200 so my max win to loss ratio is 2.2 that's that's great right there so my max win was two times greater than my max loss and i have an 86 percent win rate again you know this is how you measure Good trading. This is how you measure um, consistency. I do my total wins, my total losses. That helps me get to my uh, average win day, and average losing day. All right. So I'm gonna keep doing this, guys, um, and we'll see how that looks this time uh, uh, next year. All right. So I started here in October. I'm gonna run this through the end of the year. I'd like to set this up for kind of like a copy trade type of program. I'm going to be doing with some European clients. I don't know, can't exactly do it with some of the U.S. clients just yet because we're not set up on the as a CFTA or uh, don't have the hedge fund. We don't have block edge capital yet, but that's all going to change here in short order. All right. So, anyways, guys, this is this is the stuff you should be doing behind the scenes, not searching through chat rooms trying to figure out whether the market's going to go up or down it's not helpful we gotta you gotta there's a lot of other things you gotta work on so i'd also, 
actually encourage you guys also to that's why you got to take advantage of the trading and the coaching that we offer All right you want to get to this consistency you got to have a coach and a mentor to get there All right it's just just the way it is is going All right anyway um, for those of you that are interested in that um, go to jenkinsrm.com see here jenkinsrm.com and um it's free to join our chat room guys right here doesn't cost you anything come in see what we're all about send me a, send a send me a message you know, we have our private chat room for crypto, which is right here under the crypto coin team. It's only a hundred bucks a month. You know, I like to say it's less than the cost of cable. And, uh, you know, CNBC is not going to make you any money. But, guys, we're putting in a dozen, half a dozen calls and buy and sell signals with the kind of consistency I just showed you. This is our, if you want to just learn the model, this is if you were on a... You want help one on one. You want to trade together. You want to work on, you know, this is the risk side of your trading plan. You're not going to get a trading plan by just putting in, you know, learning how to trade around indicators or cycles. You're going to have to work on that with a coach or uh, a mentor. So um, that's that, guys. Hope you have a great evening, and uh, we'll talk to you in the morning.